Prof, Prof, last question lang. Pero medyo dilihis ako ng konti. We we're almost out of time eh. Um, uh, the 50th anniversary of Marshall is coming up on Wednesday. I know that you've been doing the rounds uh, going to to sites that are known for for the past. Uh, nung, nung parang ng Marshall uh, How different is this uh, commemoration going to be from the previous years? And uh, how different is, is it from what you would have wanted it to be? Well, of course, uh, martial law, as a tragic moment in our history, is recognized by our laws and the state. No? Uh, may mga batas tayo na nagre-recognize ng mga human rights victim. Now, people will not will deny it, but uh, there are documented uh, 11,103 cases now that were compensated. We do not know the whole extent because documentation is lacking. But still, they were they were recognized by the government. And so, ako naman, parang, hindi naman to holiday even noon eh. Wala rin naman parang big government commemoration, except during the 40th commemoration of martial law, wherein Noy Noy Aquino offered the writ at the bantayog ng mga bayani. So yun lang naman ang government. So inaasahan natin na, like all these years, the cause-oriented groups, We'll have, lit, we'll have commemorations all throughout the country, different institutions, different schools. Uh, hope, uh, we just hope na, syempre, nung 50th ito, may state recognition, state rights that would happen. But of course, we all know that that would be awkward since si Bongbong Marcos ay anak ni Marcos, di ba? But still, maganda pa rin that we can still have this little, uh, this, this uh, scattered little commemorations all around na organic, and mas, uh, shall we say, mas uh, pinupuntahan ng mga tao o mas mag-engage sa mga tao about, you know, not forgetting. Kasi at the time when people want you to forget, commemorating and remembering is love of country and is a, a sort of personal heroism.